What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Fucking Imperials. If they are Martha, they'll have the old rest to answer to. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. Are any of you hurt? No, they didn't come this way. Oi, look sharp! Hey, What? Good to see you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone, I'm afraid. We're doing what we can to treat the wounded. Good to see you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone. They've killed my parents! I demand recompense! We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late in our bombing of them again. Let's get you to a physica, shall we? I'm sorry. Oh, I think I twisted something. Sid? Someone said you'd be coming. I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. This culling business, you don't think, you don't think the Empire means to rid the land of bearers, do you? This culling business, what in the world is going on? you don't think... Lads from the garrison all poured in, sword swinging, and took Martha away with them. Lads from the garrison all poured in, sword swinging... Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Anything catch your eye? Right. That all is it? Good to see you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone, I'm afraid. <laughs> if the 
those Orsons touch an arrow on Martha's head. Oh, I'll kill them all myself. the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire.
Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. Continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I. 
I shall. Sim! Where are you? Sim! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. The fork to the drawbridge is back the way we came. It's where the abbot would have gone himself, had he not. <laughs> the fork to the drawbridge is back the way we came. The Imperials of old would never have stooped so low as to defile a house of Grieger, nor slaughter a man of faith in cold blood. May their goddess have mercy on their souls. The Imperials of old would never have stooped so low as to...
You didn't see that coming. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh. You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh. Before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. Poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I won't let their sacrifice be in vain. Those poor souls died to give me... If you don't mind, Sid. I'd like to stay here with Martha. Just until she finds someone to guard the rest, that is. If you don't mind, Sid. Martha's a stout soul, all right. Anyone else will be out cold after what she's been through. Martha's a stout soul, all right. Anyone else will be out cold after what she's been through. We'll return to the hideaway as soon as we've finished our ministrations. They've killed my bearer. I demand recompense. Oi, look sharp! Hey, 
I'm glad Martha's safe. Both for her sake and the town's. This place wouldn't be the same without her. I'm glad Martha's safe. Both for her sake and the town's. This place wouldn't be the same without her. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. We've been speaking with the Blood Axes about how best to protect the village. We won't let this happen again. We've been speaking with the Blood Axes. This law are yours, I take it. Well, we're very grateful for their help. This law are yours, I take it. Well, we're very grateful for their help. What was all the screaming and shouting? Me by. Are you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why? They saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Oh, um, ah, well, well, fair enough. I am, um, uh, I'm sure they'll be all right. Of course, now, Chuck, you and White Chuck. Is, um, Right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White Heart is the pride of Rosaria. You mustn't let those bastards lay a finger on that noble bird. Find her and her flock. Make sure they're all right. White Heart is the pride of Rosaria. White Heart. That's quite a name for a Chocobo. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. Yeah! 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 
these chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? Come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that.
Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I. Um... Oh no! Sorry, sorry. I I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back. I reckon. Told you, and it seems our pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you.
Where's Gav? Gav should be back by now. Gav should be back by now. On autumn's breath, ill tidings born, an erstwhile home in twain are torn. Now in his path, fell shades of eye, pray let them not impede his Autumn's breath. Those men didn't hurt Martha, did they? Those men didn't hurt. Ma Is it business or pleasure? If you're going to buy some, be quick about it. I'm thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm thankful you got that much. me blind, you know. Come again. Bothered either way. Welcome back, Sid. Might be a mo. <sighs> oh, keep your mug handy. If Martha's gonna get back on her feet, she'll need our help, whether she wants it or not. If Martha's gonna get back on her feet, she'll need our help. Ah, Clive! How <laughs> I've missed that scowl! Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. 
While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? What can I get you, Sid? Oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Those men didn't hurt Martha. If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here... Back are you? So, what'll it be? That it? Fine. Soon enough. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. 
Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. I'm sorry, Martel. I wish I had your way with words. It won't be long now, Martel. See, is it oh, this Mar I and by you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martel apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martel? Today's finally the day. Martel would have wanted the curse breakers to be the first to try her apples. I'm sorry to put you into trouble, Sid. Thanks. This tongue here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it clear. You'll have to ask me if you want to know how it works, right? <laughs> this tongue here pulls the black from the... Martel would have wanted the curse breakers to be the first to try her apples. I'm sorry to put you to the trouble, Sid. And a flowered drink. About as much as a bothersome boy. Did you come through the forge today? It smells like a still. It explains that. And you say Sid built this place? Perhaps they're old enough for the sins. Zemeckis. There was a time I only had eyes for Otto, but then I saw the light, and his name is Cole. That way he looks at you like a frightened fawn who's lost his mother. Oh, if only I could shoot an arrow through his heart. There was a time I only had eyes for Otto. <sighs> they say removing a brand is almost as painful as getting one. Say removing a brand is almost as painful as getting one. Once the Dalmegs have laid siege to the Dominion, very little will be leaving Twinside, including the many medicines distilled there. Once the Dalmegs have laid siege to the Dominion, What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? 
Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. I don't think so. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has a toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Words are immortal. <sighs> Business is busy. Still. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Here you are. Earn this. Hasn't been delivered yet, I'm afraid. You've already got that one. All done? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Oh. Seed. But he 
he's still with us too. Oh, same old. So, uh... Here you go. Seen enough? Doesn't sound like anywhere is safe. Right. Yep. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Gift from the backyard for your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hardaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martel livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martels, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. I can't remember the last time I had fresh fruit. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I can't remember the last time I had fresh fruit. Oh, I'm looking forward Without a ship to carry you there, Drake's breath might as well be on the moon. Without a ship to carry you there, Drake's breath might as well be on the moon. Here comes the black from the lake water and renders it big. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. 
They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Just look at her. Isn't Martell in fine fettle? And what about young Poppy Mill here? He's got some work to do if he wants to catch up with his brother Kenneth. Just look at her. Isn't Martell this tongue here pulls the black thing to make for her and renders it clear? You'll have to ask me if you want to know How much water can a flower drink? Did you come through the forge today? It smells like a still. All that pounding must be splitting his skull. Think it's all right to touch him? I don't know. You go first. But none of the curse points have returned. I am a tinker by trade, but I've always been fascinated with the art of healing. If only there were a salve to mend a broken engine. I am a tinker by trade, but I've always been fascinated with the art of healing. If only there were a salve to mend a broken end. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. And what can I do for you? Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Those men didn't 